shit. How you feeling, man? Look like a million bucks today, buddy. I'm ready. I'm pumped up. I can't wait for Saturday. Oh, man, I, I can't wait either. When I, when I saw you at the open workout, I have to be honest. I mean, I knew you had power in both hands. I mean, yeah. but you weren't, you weren't holding back. You trying to make a statement, or that's just how you roll? This is how I roll. I take every day in the gym. I, I go hard. I give it my all. And uh, just really be working on my left hook. Cause they think I don't, I don't have a left foot. Think I only got a right hand. Yeah, really goes, you know, show the word. I do have a left foot. Oh yeah, you definitely don't hook with a hooker. That's for sure. Yeah, yes, sir. Um, one thing I definitely saw, like I've been watching you since early on. I saw when your first fights when you fought in Frisco, Dr. Pepper Park. Yes. And uh, I can see right then and there that you really were passionate about, you know, just the sport and, and being, um, you know, a master of your craft. Um, tell me kind of about the journey along the way and how it feels to come full circle and back in Dallas for the time you to find the belt. Uh, it, it's a dream come true, you know. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy, man. It's a dream. I started from the bottom, and, uh, and I worked my way up. Now, I remember I was getting paid from my manager like 500 bucks for a fight, and now I'm getting paid for a lot. So I'm happy, you know. I just gotta keep going hard and uh, stay prepared. I know, I know Jose coming, and uh, we train hard. It's has good sparring partners, and I'm ready. Yeah, absolutely. We, uh, we definitely saw you already. Another thing that we saw too is that there's a lot of support, the local support. How does that feel to be um, not just the people's champ, but you know, you have the support of the people down here in Dallas and kind of across the world too, because you do are, you are the road warrior. Yes. People know what you bring. You know, they bring power both hands, and you got that, uh, that you know, reach. So how does it feel to, you know, just kind of be, you know, the, the people's champ, also the WBO champ, soon to be the you know, WBO champ as well? It, it feel good, you know. It's a dream coming true. I mean, I'm not, I'm not there yet. I'm not where I want to be yet. I know after this fight, I, uh, I, I still gonna train hard. Nothing gonna change. You know, I'm not there yet, but I'm on my way to the top. Speaking of that support, that was an awesome speech by your manager Arnie. Uh, can we talk a little bit about manager of Maurice Hooker, Arnie Verbeck? <laughs> well, we're um, about a mile and a half away from the gym, where about eight, nine years ago, Maurice and I had a dream. And uh, we're so proud that you're here. And we didn't do it alone, we were about half on the way. And of course, let's like, start with the big guys. Eddie, thank you so much. Bob for making this, of course. This is open, of course. Dina Duba, we've had a great place. He was there, we know what he really thought it was. We got it done. In particular, this staff, but I've got a very, very small, very small staff. Ken Spara is the boxing genius behind all of this. And we just uh, expanded the team with uh, Mr. Roa. Where is Eddie? Mr. Roa right there. He's been crucial. And I'm going to promise you one thing. He is going to be so strong. I've, I've been with Maurice 10 years. I've never seen him in better shape. And I also want to thank the WWC, especially the WBC. Their weight limit, safety weight limits, is should be adopted by all uh, sanctioning bodies. It's the safety of the athlete. Maurice was touched 144 a week ago because that's what the limits are. I mean, uh, he is in great shape. Thank you, Mr. Roa, for uh, helping him there. Fantastic job. And I want to thank one more person here. My mom came all the way from Amsterdam. She told me to be the best. And I tried to uh, be the best manager, and I tried to take your guidance and your lessons and give them to Maurice. And uh, Maurice is already the best. And good luck to the team. Good luck. And I hate it for you guys, but my guy is the best. And we're going to have that green belt Saturday. But thank you very much. Thank you, Arnie. I thought that was a great speech. It did remind me a little bit of a wedding speech. <laughs> relationship and what he's meant to you as far as your career? I mean, he been there the whole time, you know, he helped guide uh, my career, he helped uh, with my life, you know, just show me, you know, the do's and the don'ts, you know, growing up. And uh, he, he been there just, uh, you know, like my father. Absolutely. And then last thing, um, Saturday night, when people show up, it's going to end with a what? It's going to end with a right hand, left hook. <laughs> it might be a knockout early. I mean, everybody pay attention because it could, could end early. All right. Thank you, champ. Appreciate it.